So welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you guys are joining me today. And A.G. Garland, of course, part of the Kamala Harris campaign, going out there and threatening anyone who decides to challenge the upcoming election. If the election does not, um, if the election looks strangely suspicious, they're going to uh, arrest you if you point that out. If, uh, if you are acting in any way that goes a a against the mainstream media, against uh, what the government says the outcome of the election is, well, they're going to come to arrest you, just like they did the 1,400 January Sixers, um, as Garland will point out here in this press conference. It's absolutely disgusting that we live in a, a government that is so, so amped, ready to go after its own citizens for rightly expressing their free speech. Democrats never had a problem with denying elections. They did it all the time from 2000 on. They always denied the election. Oh, no, Bush didn't win. Uh, Bush didn't win again. And, of course, you know, Trump didn't win. That yeah, was okay with him. The Russians did it. They stole it. Blah, 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 blah. Right? That's a okay. Hey, the electors don't need to uh, vote for uh, Trump. They can cast their votes for Hillary. They need the electors to just ignore the will of the people. That was a okay. All of a sudden, when that happened in 2020, however, now we need to arrest those people. Right? This is what these individuals do. And this is what they're currently trying to set up now because they know how bad Kamala Harris is doing right now internally. Um, and there is a lot of momentum behind Trump and his campaign right now. Uh, Got to make it too big for them to rig, right? So here is uh, Garland uh, at this press conference being asked about this upcoming election. election. Let's take a listen. I guess as a follow-up on Scott's question, you're sitting in these hearings with um, prosecutors and judges at the courthouse down the street. They're, they're increasingly expressing concerns about the upcoming transfer of power and potential danger of an, another another January 6th. Do you share those concerns at all? Um, I think our prosecutions have made clear what we think about people who try to interfere with the peaceful transfer of power, which is essential and fundamental element of our democracy. I quibble about whether we have 1,500 or slightly less than 1,500, but we have way more than 1,400 now prosecutions. We have a substantial number of convictions. I think that's shown to everybody how seriously we take an effort to interfere with the peaceful transfer of power. The last January 6th, the coming January 6th, and every January 6th after that. I want to make clear to anybody who is thinking about interfering with that, they can see what we've done with respect to the January 6th prosecutions and the Justice Department will continue to protect our democracy. Uh, yes, big and bad going after people who had misdemeanor trespassing, trying to charge them with felonies and put it away for 10 plus years. These people are sick individuals, people in the government, people like Merrick Garland, as they continue to do this. This is part of Kamala Harris uh, regime, right? It's part of her uh, initiative along with Joe Biden. But I'm not talking about Joe Biden. He's not running for president anymore. It's Kamala Harris's. This is what they're trying to do. This is the message they are sending. Don't you dare um, challenge this upcoming election or we will arrest you, just like we did with the other 1,400 uh, people who showed up to January 6th. We are going to arrest you and prosecute you. Yeah, yeah, that's who they these people are. Anyway, make sure you get out there, spread the message, make sure you get out there and encourage other people to go vote. Um Upcoming election is very critical, so make sure you're doing your part and spreading the word. Go register a few voters if you uh, are able to. That would be great. All right. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. Have a great, great day.